Hi, this is Paul Solt from iPhone Dev TV. Let's get started and learn how to connect this user interface that we've built to our code. So let me highlight the mouse and show you what we're looking at. We're looking at this panel over here and you can get to that with this little button. So over here, we see two code files. There's the app delegate and the view controller. The view controller is the, the code file that we're gonna be working with along with our main.storyboard, which is our user interface file. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna to switch to the assistant view, and this is gonna allow us to see both our interface file and the code that's going to be running in the background. So let's open that by clicking on this tab right here, and we can see that the interface file moved around. So this is kind of an issue. If you have a trackpad, you can like scroll right. I don't know why it always has to fail at centering, but it does sometimes. So once we find where our view is, if you, if you can't see your view, you can drill into it from here and that should center it if you click on that. So that's this little button down here, which will give you access to it and you may have to rearrange it. So this interface, we now need to connect to code and there's these three text fields, which we need user input from. There's this button right here where we want an action to happen when someone presses it. So we want to display a new message based on the data that we're getting from the user. And then we're gonna display that message right down here on this message. So what we're gonna do right now is just hook up our button so you can see how this is going to work. So I am right clicking and dragging and you can see that this line is being drawn. You can do a two finger press and hold from the button to do the same thing and then let go where you need to go. Now, if you're using the trackpad, I recommend keeping your index finger down and then you can lift your second finger after clicking and move the mouse with that finger. So that's one little trick for laptop users. Now with the, the connection that we're making here, this is gonna insert code for us and we're gonna to wanna to insert an action for a button. When we're working with the text fields or the labels, we'll insert a outlet, but an action is what happens when someone taps a button. So we want an action to occur and here we'll give it a name. So we'll say, let's call this the days button pressed. So what's gonna happen is when someone presses this button up top, we want a message to update on the iPhone and tell them how many days old they are. So that's what this is gonna be. And we'll just hit connect. Now you can see that that inserted these three lines of code and this open curly brace and this closed curly brace is where we can write new code. So right in here, all we're gonna do is do a print line statement. And in here, you just do the open parentheses and we start typing something. So we'll just say days button pressed. We just want a message so that we know that something's working. So this is what we call a sanity check. Once you can get output to the screen, it makes it very easy to understand if things are working or not working. So this is one way we can do it. Now, this won't print out on the iPhone. This will actually print out in Xcode. So this is a a testing mechanism for a developer who's working on an app. They wanna know what the value of something is or they wanna know if something's happening and you can use this to print out a message. So if I click this button, we now see that this little area just appeared. This is the console area and this is where you'll get error messages or messages that you write using the print method or the print line method. And so that's the LN there. So. If I click this a bunch of times, you'll see that this gets printed out multiple times. So that is working with an outlet. Now let's connect our, sorry, that's working with an action. Now let's connect our outlets, which are gonna be these. Now I generally put actions down here. So we're in the view controller class. And remember, we're putting everything in between these curly braces. So curly braces surround the entire class. And it's okay if you don't know what I'm talking about right now, just put your code inside of it. So. If you hover on the, the left over here, you'll see the class gets highlighted. And then each of these is a method. So a method is a block of code. It's a chunk of code that can run. And this is an example. When we press that button, this will get printed out. Okay, so now let's connect those outlets. So I'm gonna right click and drag over and I'm gonna do this right underneath the class view controller line. So on line 12 or 13, just let go. We want an outlet, so make sure you have outlet selected. And then we're gonna do a descriptive name based on what this is. So we have a title above this. This is the month text field, so that's what I'm gonna call it. 
and then I can just press enter or hit that connect button. And we're gonna repeat this multiple times. So I'll just right click and drag over here and put it right underneath or above. It doesn't really matter as long as it's in this area. This is gonna be our day text field. And then our last one is our year text field. And I can just hit the connect button and that will work. So now we have a bunch of outlets that we just connected and you can see that Xcode is inserting these lines of code. So it's an IB outlet, it's weak, it's a variable, it's a text field, which is why we use that in the name. And notice we're using camel case here. So it's a lowercase first letter and then it's uppercase for every other word in the variable name. This is a common design style pattern for programming. And then we have the type here, which is a UI text field. So that will allow us to reference and get the user input from the user. And the last thing I wanna hook up right here is this message. So we can right click on this. This is a label and I'm gonna drag it right underneath and this is gonna be called message label. Now we can hit connect and we have all of our, our code connected here so that if we wanted to, we could say, okay, well, the message label, if I start typing it, autocomplete is going to suggest something down here and I can hit tab or enter to make that finish. And so that will insert that code for me or that text. And now I'm gonna get the text attribute and real quick, we can just say button pressed and we wanna use the quotes here. So we'll do button pressed just like that. And you don't need any semicolons unlike Objective-C or C++ or C there are no semicolons required in Swift, which is pretty nice because you don't have to worry about as many special characters and forgetting certain things. So if you're coming from Objective-C, this is a little bit easier. It's gonna take a little bit of getting used to. And you can see right after I press this button, this text changed from message to button press. So that's getting started with your first few lines of Swift code. We've connected our user interface from our storyboard file. So all of these elements on this side are now connected, the ones that we need to get input from. So we've got the month text field, the day text field, the year text field. We're gonna grab that in the next video and then we'll be able to do a calculation using that and some of the date classes that Apple provides for iPhone developers.